welcome graduates. I'm delighted to welcome you to your virtual graduation ceremony. Now we might not be sitting in the Peacock Theatre surrounded by family and friends and your peers, and you're probably not wearing a graduation gown, but that shouldn't diminish the importance of this milestone. You faced incredible challenges in the course of your degree, and I know that completing your studies during the pandemic was far from easy, but you did it. Despite the hurdles you encountered along the way, you're here today, an LSE graduate. I hope you're proud of everything you've achieved, and I offer you my warmest congratulations. Graduating from LSE is an incredible achievement, and getting this far has taken enormous dedication. That tenacity of spirit will serve you well in a world that is dramatically different and changed over the course of the past year. As communities around the globe have grappled with recent events, there have been huge shifts in our politics, economics and societies. And for you to make change in that world, to truly shape the future of our society on a global scale, you will face more challenges. Making an impact will mean committing wholeheartedly to understanding the causes of things and coming up with new solutions. And I say this not to dishearten you or to damage your aspirations. In fact, quite the opposite. Amongst you are future political leaders, policymakers, researchers, business leaders, civil society advocates, and you will be the agents of change in the post-pandemic world. Your LSE education will be the foundation for your future and enable you to make huge impact. Do not let your ambitions diminish in any way. Keep them high. And as a graduate of LSE, you hold extraordinary power. You may not feel that yet, but I know from my personal experience that you will appreciate the value of your education in the years ahead. Finally, I hope you're able to celebrate your successes with those who've supported you in your time at the LSE. The past year has shown us more than ever the importance of friends and family, and I know that without mine, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wish you all the best in the months and years to come. I have complete confidence that you will do great things. In fact, we're counting on you. And I look forward to seeing the impact that you have on the world. Do stay in touch, make the most of the benefits that the LSE has offered you, and stay connected as an alumni, both now and in the future. Hello, it gives me real pleasure to congratulate you on your graduation and welcome you into the community of alumni of our department. This is no small achievement, particularly this year. Previous alumni have done great things, whether in economic history or government or business or public service. We're sure that you will achieve the same. And we hope that you will keep in touch with us as you move out into the world and that you take with you some of the skills and knowledge that we've hoped to convey to you over the last year, whether it's in sources or analysis, or whether it's in ideas about the drivers of growth and development in economies and societies. It feels like a really long time since I welcomed you to the department in September 2019. Um, lots and lots has happened since then. We as a department were simply happy to have survived, to have carried on teaching and learning during lockdown in the face of a pandemic. Um, but you did more than that. Um, you blew us away with the grace and commitment that you showed, uh, the courage with which you persisted in studying and researching and writing during the last year. The work that you produced was of astonishing quality. We just published the, several of the dissertations as departmental working papers, which is no mean feat in the circumstances that you faced. I think the last time that we spoke in person, uh, or gathered in person together, was in Christmas uh, 2019 when we met for mulled, pie, mulled, <laughs> mulled wine and mince pies at the Shaw Library. It feels a long time ago that we were debating whether it was worth bidding for Lorraine's Christmas cake and talking about whether or not mince meat had meat in it. Uh, those are good memories, but I think it's also worth cherishing and finding the good in the memories of what came next. In your commitment and persistence in the face of challenge, in the concern that you showed for each other and in what you've achieved despite everything. We as a department are incredibly proud and feel very privileged to have had the chance to teach you over the last year. 
what you achieved has astonished us. So, on behalf of the department, congratulations and thank you. It has been a pleasure to have you as our students. I'm sure that when starting at LSE, you didn't imagine just how much the world could change in such a short space of time. If we've learnt one thing this year, it's that life is unpredictable and can take us pretty much anywhere. That's why it's all the more important to take the opportunity to celebrate your achievements and all the hard work that you've done to get to your graduation day at LSE. My business school class in 1987 was called the Class of the Crash. But history proves that crises not only pass, but they catalyze the creation of new ideas, new industries, and new opportunities. You're entering the world at a challenging time for democracy. Do not be deterred uh, in pursuing your dreams of improving our collective situations. In fact, double down on them. If my time at LSE taught me anything, it was that it was possible not just to lean into society's most complex questions, but also to imagine a career built around the idea of contributing to solve them. I'm certain that come time you will realize what an important part the school and the overall student experience will have played in turning you into the person you are and most importantly, the person you might become tomorrow. In the time since graduating, the value of my studies at LSE has really shown itself in how I'm never afraid to question or challenge what I see around me. An education from LSE really equips you to recognise the power of bringing the social sciences together and to go above and beyond in everything that you do. So use what you've learned to innovate, to inspire and to make an impact. When I was a student in the mid to late 1980s, the school was a much different place. With 3,500 students, it was much smaller, but at its core, it was what it still is today. An unbelievably rich, diverse, global place that cannot fail to instill the sort of values into its student body that will help the world overcome its multiple challenges, values that in many parts of the world continue to or are increasingly under threat. Use your time from here wisely, concoct your dreams bravely, and realize that you are graduating from a unique, special institution that gives you extraordinary permission, extraordinary permission to go after them. Don't let that go to waste. I, for one, cannot wait to see what you come up with. You can build great careers and find work no matter where you are in the world, whether it's in Cleveland or in Canary Wharf or in Shanghai or in Ethiopia, it doesn't matter. Set goals, keep learning, take chances. Work hard and play hard. Learn from your mistakes. You'll make them, I most certainly did. Eventually weave your experiences together into an optimal path for you. Most importantly, while it may feel like a chapter is coming to an end or door is closing, your graduation is actually the beginning of the next chapter and a set of new doors opening. And there's really no set path for an LSE graduate. When I think about the friends I graduated with, they're all doing so many amazing things in all walks of life. Your existing network is a resource and so are the LSE alumni community that you're going to become a part of. So tap into it. No matter what comes next, you'll always be a part of the LSE community and I'm so excited to see what you'll achieve. Most important, go through this with family and friends. Lean on your classmates. They probably also have no idea what they're getting themselves into. But be assured that armed with an incredible education, doors will be open to you for life. So embrace the journey and have fun. Be kind to yourself, be warm to yourself and be friendly with yourself and tap into your friends and your network to help you navigate this journey. Congratulations to all on your graduation and I wish you much success and inspiration for this next chapter in all of your lives.
To all my classmates, it was really nice getting to know all of you, and I hope we see each other again soon. And to my family, thank you for all the support. I'll forever appreciate it. Thank you.